Hello! Hey, hey, hey everyone! Tara here in the Craft Cabin. How are you today? Welcome, welcome. Um, I have totally lost track of what day this is. Um, actually, Tina came in today, <laughs> into work today, and she lost track what day it was because she wasn't even meant to be in today. Uh, she came in anyway. <laughs> so, um, it's catching. Um, so yeah, so I don't know what day we are in, in, in our, our craft um, challenge, um, but I know it's Ladybird Day. So I love ladybirds. If you came into my house, you'd see lots of ladybird bits and pieces all around the house. Um, I have a ladybird money box. I have ladybird teddies. I have ladybird, loads of ladybird books, obviously, because they are ladybird books. Um, so I love ladybirds. So I hope um, you like them too. So um, any of you that have been online in the last two days, you know that we have started uh, a village uh, challenge so we are making lots and lots of different things for our village so hopefully you are creating your own little village at home as well so we have a little mural which I'll show you that we're adding all our bits and pieces to but you could put it up on the wall or maybe on a windowsill or just add all the bits and pieces to make a whole entire village so we'll be doing different crafts over over the days for our village but all of the crafts stand alone so even if you're not doing a village or you just come on on random days you can still do the craft and it'll still make sense all right so um thank you to everybody who came on yesterday if anyone is on oh i see some people on so do say hello give me a, a thumbs up or um um a, a heart or a little something just to say that that you're in today and do let us know if anyone is uh, up to anything fun today or if anyone has done anything uh, crazy um and fun over the last few days to kind of beat the boredom um i know it can be hard staying indoors all the time but it is the best thing to do so well done for for um staying in and well done to, to the mummies who are patiently keeping kids in indoors as well so hopefully this is of um help to you all so uh, we have nicola from navin who's five hello nicola how are you um welcome guys so do come on and say hello if you're watching on the live do do say hello and even if you're watching the replay uh, do say hi to me i love to see where, where everyone is coming from particularly can't believe we have people like I just thought it would just be people around Ballyconnell who would be here, but there's lots of people. So yesterday we made sheep. So if you didn't uh, check in yesterday, we made some some sheep. Um, actually, what I might show, will I show you? Yeah, maybe I'll take this off and I can come back to it again as well. Um, we made sheep yesterday, but we started putting down all the things that we had made. We started putting them down on our uh, village scene. So just going to flip this around and show you some of the other things that we have made as well. So, woo! so this is our little village scene. So this is what we're going to be adding to over the next couple of weeks. So the sky looks pretty blank. So I think we need to do some, uh, some weather. What about a hot air balloon? Oh yes, I think we need a hot air balloon. We have a lonely little rainbow up at the corner. Do you remember we made the rainbows one of the days? And just at the edges, I put down some of the other little crafts that we made. So uh, for St. Patrick's Day, we made some shamrocks. We did puppets. Um, so do go back and look over um, all of our other Facebook lives that we've done. Uh, you'll get how to make all of these. We made, do you remember all these little mini books that we made as well? We did loads of those. We did um, fairy houses and farmhouses one of the days. We did flowers. So we made um, flowers for Mother's Day as well. So we made this big flower and we made this little um, jar flower as well for Mother's Day. And we made the little coupon book for mums as well. We did an aquarium. We did a card for Mother's Day. Gosh, forgot all the things that we made. And <laughs> um, we did flowers. So we made um, some tulips and some um, other little flowers. And then yesterday we did sheep. So I showed you how to make two different types of sheep. One using cotton wool and the other using yarn. So we wrapped the yarn ones up uh, this one <laughs> lost his feet so he's sitting down um, and this one is made with um oh what do you call them oh clothes pegs <laughs> couldn't think of them so over the days now we're going to be filling this up you don't have to do do it this way at home as i was saying what you could do at home is now this is all falling down but you could put up some green for the grass and blue for the sky you could stick some paper up um for yours um if you want it but this is what we're working on so let's bring back hello so 
let's get cracking with ladybirds guys so we have some more people on we have pam we have may uh with two mays on oh maybe it's the same one uh, hello guys how are you um we have may um, malaz is it malaz am i pronouncing that right mm -hmm. is is watching as well so hello and welcome so today ladybirds so i have two types of ladybirds to show you how to make today this is one of them so if you can see this one just a really simple little ladybird with this one you can keep them just like this or you can add them on to cards and things so we often make these as little cards in the craft shop so we're going to make a little card with it so if you don't want to add it to your village you can make a little card with it so i'll show you how to do that there's also this one so this is a little 3d one i think i could have made the face bigger on this one <laughs> he's a very big body but maybe he just ate far too many leaves that's why he's so big so we're going to make this little one as well so these two little ones I'm going to show you how to make we're going to add them to the village and um, or we're going to make a little card so I'll show you how to do both so let's get cracking so I'm gonna put this down so hello so the first thing we're going to make this one first so we're going to make the the simpler one first if that's okay so what i'm doing or what you need for this is some black paper and some red paper just very simple and again if you don't have black and red paper you can just color in some white paper as well no problem first thing we're going to do is we do need two circles or kind of circles so the wings is made up of one circle cut in half and the body is made of one circle with a little head on it okay so I'm going to just draw around a shape so I have just different salad tapes and things that you can use if you want to do bigger ones you could draw around I don't know the the top of, of a, a cup or something or the bottom of a cup you could use that either so anything that's going to draw a little circle for you so I'm going to draw a circle I'm going to keep it whoops, try and keep it to to the edge so always trying to conserve um, your paper just so we can get as much out of our paper as possible so I have drawn a circle now if you can see that on one side or one area on the circle, I'm going to draw a little head. And all that is, is just a little semicircle coming out of the circle. So I'm going to do, oops, like that. So if you can see that. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Do you remember what I say? Wonky is wonderful. So I'm gonna cut this out now. Okay. using my big scissors today so I'm cutting out my black first and then I'll do my um, wings okay so now I have this shape so this is going to be the body and this is going to be the head okay what I'm also going to do just when I have the black out is I'm going to do the legs as well. So all I did for the legs is I cut um, two black pieces, uh, two lengths, and I did them as a, as a cross. So I'm going to do that. So I have some black paper here. I'm doing one. And I'm doing two. So now I have two little strips of paper like that and with a little bit of glue I'm just going to glue them together like that. So you can put them kind of more together like that like a dicky bow almost if you want doesn't matter what way you do it. And then I'm going to put some glue on the base of this here Oops. and I'm going to put my legs down. So then when I flick it over I can see my little legs on my ladybird. Okay, so we leave that to the side. Next, I'm going to do my wings. So I'm going to do these. So again, I'm going to take my circle and I'm going to draw around it. It doesn't have to be exactly the same as the, the one you did, but just to keep it in proportion. So I've cut that out or drawn that out. So I'm going to cut it out now. Okay. And if you're a little bit more advanced with cutting, and this is what we teach when we um, do mixed media to adults, is, is to keep this hand, the moving hand, and this hand still. So you put it right in at the edge, and I'm using this hand to turn the paper. So this hand does all the work. So you're not going 
So that's what causes all the jaggy edges when you cut. So nice and smooth, gives you nice smooth edges. Okay, and just tidy that bit up. So I have a circle like this. I am going to cut it in half. And now I am going to add my black dots to it. Okay, just pull this down a wee bit further. So this one, I'll bring it this way. I'm going to do quite big ones on this one. You can do whatever way you want. And not all ladybirds are red. Um, I should do, um, actually, do you know, the next one I'll do um, a different colour, I think. You can have different coloured ladybirds. When I was um, a little girl, you could get loads of different colours of ladybirds. But I don't know if you even see different ladybirds now. Or even if you see red ladybirds, I think it's hard to see them now. They're all hiding. And we do two more one and two so i have my two like that and all i'm going to do is bend them up a little bit so just like that just to have a little edge that i'm going to put some glue on so i'll put glue on the edge that i have folded up and i'm going to place it down it doesn't have to be anywhere perfect and before the glue dries as well you can kind of move them around so you know uh, you can get them a little bit straighter. So now I have this, it's starting to take shape. So I'm going to do eyes, so googly eyes. And just to say, if you don't have googly eyes, you could just cut out from a little bit of um, white paper. Do I have white paper? I do, a little bit of white card. From a little bit of white card or paper, you can just draw a little circle and draw an eye on it as well. There's always ways and means around it. So no matter what I do, you if you don't have what I have, find something else, substitute for something else. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just have a little bit of fun with it. Okay. So whoops. So this is my little one. So this looks like it's the the mummy of this little one, doesn't it? <laughs> so I have two. So we can put these down on our village just as um as we uh as talking about earlier. But I'm going to put them onto a card because I think it's nice uh, to do little cards with them. So all I have here is um some green paper. So this is just like the the grass that they um they're on. So if my ladybirds were were on the grass, this is um this is where they're going to be. So all. All I'm going to do is with a darker green, I have a darker green marker, I am going to, to do some, whoops, some grasses coming up like that, just to give it a little bit more of an effect. I'm going to take one that's going to be a little bit thicker, just to make it um, thicker, and I'm going to do uh, like a leaf and another leaf, just like that, because I'm going to add... Um, some flowers so I have my jar of flowers here so I have a lovely pink one so I'll do a pink one and I might do a smaller orange one so I might do um, a, another stem here coming down I'm just going to take this off and with your stickers as well you can also um, color in and, and put things on the stickers as well so you don't have to keep them just the way they are so because i always have gems there's all those gems around i'm going to put some little gems on um this one so i'll put a big blue one on my pink one and do i have another i have a small gem here as well come out i have some smaller gems i'm going to put a little gem on the littler one like that so oh i've done this the wrong way <laughs> it doesn't matter so i have like that so i can put my little ladybirds down so if i put maybe i'll just put one on it will i yeah so maybe i'll just put this little one so we put him this way on it so putting a little bit of glue on the back of my ladybird and i'm going to put her down like this what I might actually do as well is just to give this one a little antennae as well so I can draw that in on the next one I'll show you how to to make them and I'm also going to write on this one um, just hello from me so 
somehow. So I've made a little card. So all this is, is making your ladybird. So you've made a, a black circle on the bottom with a, a little um, head on it. You've made one red circle and you've um, cut or uh, drawn lots of little dots on it. I've put my legs on it on the back and my googly eyes. And then I've put it on top of a card. And all I've done is I've added some grass to the bottom of it. I have put some stickers down for flowers and put little um, demontes on it as well. And I have written on this one, hello for me. So you could write a little note. So so some people I know you can't go and see your your grannies and nanas and um, aunties and stuff but maybe you can uh, maybe sometimes you drive over and see them through the window uh, but maybe you can send them a little card pop it through the, the letter box so maybe you could do do that so that is how you can turn um, just a plain little ladybird into a card okay so that's our first one our second one is going to be this little 3d one okay so this one is a, a little bit um, more difficult but um, you will so manage it I know you will so this one again you need to start with some uh, black card or paper you can do it paper but I find card is just a, a little bit um, stronger so with this one I am cutting a length so you can measure measure it out if you want to I'm just going to freehand it which usually means that I get it all wonky <laughs> but it doesn't matter so I end up with a strip like that and I have got it wonky because it's thicker on one end than the other. Okay. So I have a strip like, like this. What I'm doing is I'm folding it into thirds and folded that it does overlap a little bit. So when I have this one, I'm folding it like this. So that's about a third. This one I'm going to fold in and do it a little bit more than a third. So it overlaps. So I have a base that's straight that sits like this and then these two edges I'm bringing up and I'm able to put those together. Okay, so I can use, um, let me see, yeah, I'll use some glue on this edge. So loads and loads of glue on it and stick it down. Give it a good squeeze. So I have a shape that's like this, okay? So this is going to be the main body of my ladybird, okay? So I'm going to leave that to one side. I am going to get my red again. So I'm going to get some red paper. This time I am going to do um, the wings that are kind of 3D. If you can see this one, they're kind of 3D looking. So that means I need to do two circles. And as I always say, if you're going to do two of anything that you need kind of the same size, it's a good idea to fold your paper so you, uh, when you cut it, you kind of cut it twice. I'm going to use my circle again. Oh, look at that. Just made to measure. I'm going to go round, all the way around. So I have my, my circle like that. And I'm going to cut it out. So again, I'm using this hand to turn it and I'm keeping this hand straight. So it means that the scissors are safer and this hand is doing all the work. All the way around. I don't know if you can, can you hear the beeping in the background? Really sorry, there's something wrong with our alarm today. A bit wonky today. So I now have two circles. Just going to fold them in half. Like that. These are going to be quite small, I think, on this one, but we'll go ahead with it. Okay. And I'm going to get my marker again. Actually, maybe I will do bigger circles. Yeah, I think I'll do bigger circles because let me see what's the size. Do I have something else bigger I can use? Is that any bigger? No, not really. No, I'll go with it. <laughs> I don't have a bigger circle here. So I'm going to do again I'm going to put all my black dots on it like that so this is another really good craft actually um, as a paper plate craft so if you've lots of paper plates at home you can um, make ladybirds are really good one for that so if you paint uh, one black underneath and uh, cut one of your um, plates in half um, paint it red and then cut it in half 
it's a really good one to do so if you want to do big ones so if you have little kids that find it hard working with smaller pieces of paper why not try it with a paper plate so one black plate um, on the bottom and then another red plate on the, the top cut in half so like that so now I have my two done so I have just done my black dots on the outside and here on the inside you could do them here as well uh, but I'm just maybe I'm just lazy <laughs> so now I have two like this so I'm going to put them down um so you can decide what way you want to to stick them let me get some glue put some on the corners and like that and put some on the corner again like that so I now have this so it's coming together so the next thing I'm going to do is with a little bit of card I am going to do a uh, face so my circle I'm going to get again this time I might do the inside I might get a smaller circle just um yeah might use this one just so that the face isn't oh no I'll do a big face so Again, I'm going to get my pencil, draw around for my circle. Oops. And I'm going to cut it out. There we go. You don't have to draw the circle, you can freehand it if you want to. Um, on my one here, I just freehanded it, so it's a little bit not a perfect circle, but that's okay. We don't mind imperfections here in the craft cabin and um, as you know with my ones I always like to do like a little border around mine I don't know why I just always always do so I'm just using another scrap of paper so just so I don't get marker on the table even though my table is filthy already <laughs> not get a uh, marker on it so I'm just going around it giving it a little bit of definition I just think with the borders it just makes everything else kind of pop that's inside it so like that so now I have this so all I'm going to do now is draw a little face so you decide what kind of face you're going to give him or her so I'm going to do two eyes and just with the eyes if you don't completely fill in uh, the black so leave a little bit of white I don't know if you can see it there it just makes it look more like an eye if you have a little bit of white still in it I'm going to do eyebrows I'm going to do um, a little nose this one I just gave a little nose and I think this one I need a big smiley face on this one so I have this so I might also do um, let me see do I have a little bit of pink I have pink highlighter that will do I'm going to do uh, just little rosy cheeks like that and I think this one I'm going to give eyelashes to as well so just a couple of little eyelashes as well so hello now and going to get my body I'm gonna put loads of glue on this and we're going to stick it down oh I nearly forgot the antennae <laughs> we do the antennae now so you can put it straight but I'm gonna put mine um, a little bit to the side so just like um she's looking up somewhere okay so looking good so for the antennae we might do it with a little um, strip of red paper maybe so again with these ones and um, my scissors we're going to cut two little strips of red paper so if I I might go this way because it's a wee bit longer. So one and two. So I have two strips. To curl them, just use a pencil or a marker and just wind it around it. The tighter you wind it, oh, give it a squeeze. The tighter you wind it and the longer it is, the more of a curl you're going to get. All right, so that's one. So just wind it around it. Give it a good squeeze. And then we have two little antennae. So I'm going to stick these on as well. So it doesn't matter if the, if the antennae are going forwards or backwards, it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm gonna do, so oops, might just take it off first. 
and put these on. Make one. Then we do our second one. Like that. And stick it on. So we have it, whoops, just a little bit curled on it. I'm gonna pop it back on. So now we have our second little one so we have our two little 3d ones and we have our two little uh, plain paper ones as well so we have four of them to add to our village so um yeah so let's add them to our little village scene so i'm gonna bring us back hello everyone oh i have a lovely big love heart from anita hello anita anita's down in, in dublin we have ashton and lavi again we have ronan again hello so welcome guys so hope you you liked the ladybirds so um we have our village scene so whoops just taking it out here we're going to put our ladybirds onto one of our fields so let's see what field is going to be for our ladybirds so i'm going to turn this around so this is our our village so where do we think our ladybirds are going to go so i have three ladybirds um to bring down so let's come down here what about one of the the ones at the top so the little ladybirds maybe we put them in this little field here so we have two of the 3d ones and we have one of the the, the simpler ones so what do we think it's filling up fast, isn't it, guys? So these are all the different crafts that we have made over the last couple of days. And we're going to fill this up now um, for the next few weeks. So, oh, hello, back again. So that's it, guys. That's our ladybirds for today. We'll be back tomorrow um, with a craft. Oh, wow. Kelly has just come on. Hi there. Love watching from Sydney, Australia. We are international folks. <laughs> Loving it. Hello, Kelly. We are making ladybirds today. So do watch back on the replay and see how to make ladybirds. Um, hope you and your ones um, enjoy the craft. So that's it for today. Going to head on and tomorrow... I think I might do a sun tomorrow. We might do some sunshine tomorrow. Um, we might do that. So uh, do check in uh, tomorrow and do look back over the crafts as well. Some of them you may have missed, but they're all on our Facebook page and they will all be on our website actually later today as well. So that's it, folks. Wish you good luck and goodbye. See you soon.